Melody is the second brawler coming into this Brawl Stars update, and boy howdy, does she get you amped up. Boy howdy, does she get you amped on up. If you like assassins, movement speed, and a bunch of damage, then you just might have found a new main. Now she is a mythic assassin brawler and will be coming in April. You'll be able to pick her up early with an in-app purchase, or you can switch to her on the Star Road once she's released. Now as she is a mythic brawler, she will be a bit harder to get, but as you'll see, she is going to be well well worth it. Now, Melody is somewhat of a mashup between Fang, Stu, and Amber, but with all of those traits just amplified. Her main shot is a single shot like Fang that has a similar range to Penny, but it's way, way faster. It only deals 920 damage at max level, but plain and simple, her main shot isn't her primary way of dealing damage. For every shot that she hits, a musical note starts spinning around her, similar to Amber's Dancing Flame gadget. And like that gadget, she can build up to three notes spinning around her. If one of these notes hits you, it deals 1,840 damage. They will continue spinning around her for eight seconds before fading. However, you can boost the length that they last by 25% with her second star power called Extended Mix. It takes four shots to build up Melody's super, which has three charges. Using the super lets you dash a pretty long distance like Stu or Mortis. Now all three dashes must be used before you can build up any more super. So the basic idea here is use your main shot to build up your super and then use it to get close to people and let your notes do the bulk of the damage. And to get around even quicker, you can use her first star power called Fast Beats. With this star power, she will gain a 8% movement speed buff for every musical note that she has active, meaning that she can get up to 24% faster if she has all three notes around her, which speed is an insanely good trait, and I feel like this star power is just better overall. Now I'll show you how all this comes together in a game, because it's honestly kind of nuts, but first, let's see how she fares in base level interactions. Now as we get things underway with the damage dealers, you'll notice that I have them at a slight angle. I did this because when Melody's musical notes spawn, they come out in this direction and this enables them to start dealing damage right away. Now normally you would want to build up all of these notes before getting up close and personal, but here in this test she doesn't have that luxury. Shelly is able to pull out a win with the help of her band-aid, but there are some others here who weren't as lucky, like Carl whose shots travel too slow and the notes build up dealing consistent big damage. However, when she's this close, other brawlers like Chester who can cycle to the strong shots, he's just too much for her to withstand even if she does have a substantial amount of hit points. But for the most part, you'll see that her extra damage builds up decently fast thanks to how fast she can unleash her attacks and with those notes spinning right on top of an enemy, it equates to a lot of damage. Now for brawlers like Lola, she can't take the punishment before falling, and the same holds true for brawlers like 8-Bit as well. In fact, quite a few of these damage dealers take down the new assassin because even though she can deal a lot of damage, it's a steady stream of damage that doesn't get helped out too much by her main shot. Her main shot basically enables her to deal damage rather than being the damage itself. Now, in a game, these interactions are going to look, well, quite a bit different. She's an extremely dynamic brawler, and while knowing these base interactions are good, it's never a substitute for how a game actually plays out. She'll be able to deal damage fast. She'll get in and out, which will make her incredibly hard to hit. And if she does get herself into a tough situation, she can use her second gadget called Interlude. With this, she gains a 15% shield for each note surrounding her. So if all three notes are present, that's a 45% damage reduction, which is extremely strong. Her other gadget, however, will actually be useful as well, especially when she doesn't want to get really close to Brawler like the tanks. There are very few brawlers in the game that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these big bruisers and live to tell the tale. And Melody, um, she's no different. She gets overpowered by brawlers like Bull and shut down the same way by Daryl. And while she does a huge chunk of Frank's health, she still ends up on the losing side. The story is the same for Ash, although it's much closer. Meg once again gets knocked out of mech form, but still manages to win. Although Melody does make it interesting against Buster. The only tank that she's really able to dominate is Hank. And that's just because his shots take too long to charge. Now in a game, the tanks aren't the brawlers that assassins usually want to go for. And for the most case, you're not going to want to get close up to them with Melody either. But what if I tell you that you can let your notes do the work without getting up close? Well, 
Her first gadget called Perfect Pitch just might help out with that because when activated, the notes will spread out from her by 60%, moving faster and allowing you to deal big damage from slightly further away, which against these tanks might be just what you need to take one of them down. Against the Marksman, this is a pretty lopsided affair. On one hand, you have a fragile long range brawler and on the other side is a tanky high damage dealing assassin. So yeah. She wins these. Well, most of them. She is able to be burst down by the likes of Nani, but, well, Nani can take down pretty much everyone if she lands all of her shots. I can already hear Brock calling for a nerf, and others like Belle, well, they're wishing for that too. Now, the other new brawler, Angelo, just doesn't have enough time to charge up that power before she does. Plain and simple, this is just a big mismatch for almost all the brawlers here, and in a game, it might be just as ugly. Marksmen always want to be at range, but they might not have that luxury against Melody. She is incredibly fast once she gets her notes built up and combine that with the dashes and you're going to have a target that is extremely hard to hit and can be on your doorstep before you can say get off my lawn. Now some of them do have some defensive capabilities like Piper's auto aimer or Maisie's super, but Melody can just zip away, get out of trouble, and then come right back in on you whenever she feels like it. Bottom line is, once she gets her movement and her dashes, the long range brawlers are gonna have a real bad day and it's not gonna get any better for our next group either. Now the artillery brawlers are mainly throwers and if you've played Brawl Stars at all, you'll know that the throwers well, they don't have the most friendly relationship with Assassin. She has zero issues taking out every single brawler in this category. The throwers don't have a lot of health, and once those notes start coming out, they are in a world of hurt. Now, Mike is the closest, as he might have stood a chance if he was able to get off that last shot, but Tick, once again, just gets pummeled. Now, the good thing for this category is that Melody doesn't have a way to break walls nor get over them. Now she can get around them and in a hurry. And if you're really close to a wall, well, her notes can hit you through it anyways, as well as by her activating her gadget, that range is extended and that makes it so where you just can't hug a wall when Melody is near. Now, luckily for them, she can't leap walls like Edgar, but make no mistake, the throwers will not be happy to see her on the other team as she is a deadly assassin. But how does she fare against the other assassins? Well, now there are a few different types of assassins in Brawl Stars. Ones that rely on surprise and fast burst damage like Leon and Edgar. Ones that annoy you and will bide their time looking for that perfect opportunity to strike like Crow and Fang. Now there are tanky ones that can bully you out of a position and just fly right in on you like Buzz and Sam. And finally, you have ones that are all about mobility and can be in and out without you being able to counter them like Mortis and Stu. Melody, however, is a different type though. She combines the traits of Stu and Fang with the mobility of Mortis. And in these matchups, she does okay. She wins some, she loses some. And in a game, that's going to be the case too. However, if she finds herself in a bad situation, she has the ultimate mobility to get away fast with her dashes and you do not want to be chasing her closely as you're going to be taking a beating from those notes. I think that she's going to fit in very nicely with this group, although I do feel like she will be more mobile for most of the game. Now, support brawlers are not known for being like incredibly strong brawlers. I mean, yes, some of them are quite stout like Pam and even the new improved Doug. However, the rest of these brawlers they're gonna have a real hard time matching up against Melody. She's far too mobile and hard to pin down, but lucky for the support brawlers, they have teammates with them that are usually there to watch their backs, which it looks like Byron could use some help right about now. Now in a game, this is, it's just a really bad matchup for the support brawlers. They just don't have the DPS to deal with Melody. Now some of them do have means of escaping the charging Melody like Gray, but if she's keeping you busy and keeping you away, then your team's already in a bad spot. Now, Doug or Pam are probably the best counter of all of these brawlers, but even then, it's not gonna be easy sledding. If Melody is coming for you, then you might just wanna get away, much like our last set of brawlers wish they could do as well. Our last group has 14 brawlers in it, and they all really vary in both style and power. Some of them, like Griff, can take out anyone unlucky enough to wander too close, and Bo has been strong for quite a while. However, if Ems was in her max damage area, she would have easily won. Gil, however, can't win like he did against Angelo, but Mr. P is able to get double damage on those suitcases and wins the match before Melody can hit those high notes. Now, Lou comes awfully close, but 
Even frozen, her notes keep spinning and causing damage. Squeak gets all of his damage off, but it's just not enough, and Willow, well, she doesn't have enough time to build up her damage either. Now, Otis comes pretty close with his new buff, but still loses, and Gene fires all of his shots before realizing there's nothing left and succumbs to Melody's damage. And finally, Charlie, even at this close range, she just can't seal the deal. So then, you have seen Melody 1v1 versus every brawler in Brawl Stars. How good is she going to be? Well, it's actually kind of hard to say because... Just kidding, it's actually pretty easy to say. She's gonna be good, she's gonna be real good, but... Even more importantly, you're most likely going to love playing her. The action is non-stop. She moves incredibly fast. She can dash across the field in an instant. And while relying on her notes to do the damage is a bit awkward and will take a bit of practice to get that range just right, once you do, you're going to be all over the field and wrecking other brawlers along the way. I think that she's going to be really good in most modes, especially ones like Brawl Ball, where she has massive big play potential. That's it for this update. I'll see you guys in the next one.